How's it going? I'm Drew from NWA3D, and we're going to go over how to level the bill plate on the NWA3D A5. The only thing you're going to need is the printer, it, and have it plugged in, and have a piece of regular printer paper. And this is what we're going to use to level it with, because the nozzle has to be about the thickness of a piece of paper between the bill plate and the nozzle itself. And if you're using the lock bill plate, which says NWA3D in it, then you'll just fold that paper in half, because it needs to be a little bit thicker to not push down into the filament. So, to do this, we'll start off by having your printer. And on here, we're gonna make sure that we first preheat it, because we wanna make sure that there aren't any pieces of filament stuck on the nozzle itself. So we'll tap the button, we'll spin to prepare, and tap that, and then go to where it says preheat PLA. And then, once you have the temperature at at least 190 degrees, and if it's a little bit over that, then that's okay, then we're ready to begin. And what that will do is to make sure that we can knock off all the pieces of hardened filament that might be in the way of the piece of paper getting to it. So now we'll tap this button, and then we're going to go back to prepare. And then from prepare, we're going to tap on auto home. And that zeroes out X, Y, and Z, so the printer knows exactly where zero is. And that's what we're doing when we level the printer. We're making sure that everything is exactly at zero. So now that it's moved to here, you'll notice that these are locked in place until you unlock them. And the way to get to there is you'll tap this button and then go back to prepare and then tap prepare again and then you're going to go to where it says disable steppers and then tap that button right there. Now it will let you move this around. So if you have masking tape or painter's tape on the build plate, then you'll use a flat piece of paper like this. But if you have a lock build plate like this that says NWA3D, then you'll just fold the paper in half. And what you'll do is you'll move the nozzle and the plate itself to where they're above each one of these little bolts right here. And then you'll take your piece of paper, and you'll, I'll fold this in half now, and I'll slide it to where it's underneath here. And if it's too close to slide underneath there, you might have to squeeze it. And you can squeeze it by just squeezing this together right here, because when you tighten it, that's what you're doing. You're pulling the bill plate away. So I'm gonna squeeze it, and then push this piece of paper underneath here. And then now you can see, so this one isn't moving at all. So this one's way too close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this down here counterclockwise. And then that will allow it to be loose enough because we want to be able to wiggle the paper underneath there. So we'll turn this counterclockwise again to be able to move it. And then we'll turn it a little bit more because we want this to be able to move around. So we'll turn this counterclockwise again. And then now we have the paper moving. So while the paper's moving around though, be really careful to not push your hand back behind here because this part and this heat shield protects you from getting to that nozzle. But since that nozzle is heated up, we want to be really careful to not put our fingers in there. So now, this paper moves, and you can feel it dragging, and that's what you want. You want to feel that drag on the piece of paper. And once you have that side, then we'll go ahead and push the build plate all the way over here. So we'll lift this up, and we'll push this plate all the way over here and line it up with this bolt right here. So now when I move the piece of paper, this one's a little bit too loose. So this one we're going to turn clockwise a little bit, so it tightens it a little bit. And then we want to feel about the same amount of tension when we're dragging it. We want to feel it dragging on that folded piece of paper. So then we'll feel it drag right there. Then we have that one set. Then we'll do the third one. And the third one is over here in the middle. So move the, the extruder over to the middle. And if it's hard to move, you can push down on the plate and move it over. And you'll see you'll have it in place to be able to move it. But this, see, this paper isn't moving at all either. So it's kind of hard to get to this one because it's way back in here. So we can pull this out. And then we can adjust this one a little bit. So I'm going to turn this counterclockwise just a little bit so we can be able to move that piece of paper in there. And then we'll move this down and we'll test it. And that's still a little bit too tight. So we'll pull it back out and then move it a little bit more counterclockwise. So we can turn it a little bit more and then push it back underneath here and then test that. So that's still a little bit too tight. So you, it, sometimes you have to do quite a bit of, uh, of increments to get it going, right? So move it a little bit more counterclockwise and then move it under until we can move it around. So this one, still a little bit too tight. So we can turn it a little bit more counterclockwise and then pull it under here and then until you can move that paper around. So this one, see, it's a little bit tight. So sometimes you gotta go a little bit more than you want, but you wanna always go in small increments to make sure that you don't go too far. So then now, we're getting a little bit closer so I can put the paper underneath there now a little bit, but this is how it can get really un uneven and it can cause a lot of princes because this still isn't going under here. So that this was the problem with my build plate is this one was just way too tight. So I can turn it a little bit more until I can fit it underneath there. So we'll try it again until we can get it. Until we can move that under there. So now it's moving a little bit, but it's still a little bit tight. 
So we'll get it a tiny bit more, small increment. And then now I can feel it's about the same amount of tension as it is over here. And you can feel in the middle too, to make sure that the middle moves around. Cause if it's not moving in the middle at all either, then you might have to adjust these a little bit. And that's the thing because it's a triangle. When you tighten one side, it's going to push the other two up. And then when you tighten the other side, then it's going to pull it up like this. So you might have to go through and go around and, and, and tighten it or loosen it more than once. So you might have to adjust these a little bit. After you go through, you might have to go around. So now this is moving in the middle, but it's still buckling a little bit. So let's go a little bit looser right here on the sides to where it moves about evenly all the way around. So we want to have that even feeling all the way around. So now it feels about even all the way around on the edges. And in the middle, we can still move the paper there as well too. So we know that it's you might have to do this more than once just to make sure that it's all level and it'll take a little bit of getting used to. You can also adjust it a little bit while it's printing by turning these bolts on the side. Just be really careful to not stop it or get caught inside of, of any of these belts or anything that's moving around. So that's a very advanced thing and only when you're comfortable with doing that. You can adjust it a tiny bit while it's going. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you ever get stuck or need help, you can go to nwa3d.com slash support and we'll help you get it level uh, and help you with any other problems you might have. We can even do another Zoom training like this just to help you out. So if you have any questions, you can just head there to nwa3d.com support and hope you have, this was helpful and have a good day.